You know there has been a great scientist Alexander Fleming. Once when he was growing a culture, he found that wherever there was a fungus called Penicillium growing, the bacteria were not able to multiply. So this really got him interested. So he extracted from a substance from Penicillium and called it penicillin, and that started the beginning of antibiotics. The word anti means against, biotics living beings. Now it is very interesting, antibiotics are extracted from microbes to be used against microbes. Today we have many antibiotics, not just penicillin, there is streptomycin, tetracycline and so on and all these antibiotics are prescribed by doctors because they can stop the growth of microbes. But it is not that you can just take any antibiotic. There is usually a culture developed to see which antibiotic will be useful. Only then that antibiotic is given. Some antibiotics can even cause a reaction, especially penicillin. So usually doctors first give a test dosage to see whether it is suitable to a particular person or not. Then only antibiotics are prescribed. So our medicines or the medicinal use we have antibiotics like first one was penicillin and it was called a wonder drug. But then tell me what is better, first let the disease happen and then take medicine, get bound to the bed, not play, not enjoy, not go to school, what is the way out? There is a way out. Prevention is not better than cure, it is the only cure. If you maintain your body hygiene, if you maintain environmental hygiene, if you take care of your food, you will probably saying bye bye to diseases. Now there is another thing, there was another scientist Lord Jenner, what he observed that cow men did not develop smallpox. So again he was intrigued, what is it? So he realized while milking the cows, they developed sores on their hands and through them the microbe causing these diseases, they enter their bodies and somehow they become more resistant to these microbes. So from where there he developed a concept which is called vaccine and the process of giving vaccine is called vaccination. From where did this word come? From Veka. Veka means cow. So because this idea came from cow, it is called vaccination. Today, every day when you hear the ads, especially Amitabh Bachchan, what does he say? Pulse polio. Everybody to have pulse polio, the children. So nowadays, we have vaccination for many diseases. We have vaccination for tuberculosis, we have vaccination for smallpox, chickenpox, measles, hepatitis, all these vaccinations improve our immunity. How do they do it? I will give you a very interesting example. If sometimes a burglar, God forbid not, but if a burglar breaks into your house, there are some losses maybe. But then what will you do next time? You will certainly analyze what was the weak area, how he could enter the house, isn't it? And then next time you will take precaution. Had you forgotten to lock the house, you will become more particular. If the lock was weak, you will put a stronger lock. That is what even countries do. Why do we have defense? To protect us from the invaders. And that is what is the role of vaccination. Now vaccination is something like protecting your body from invaders just like countries do. You know in our country in 1962 China attacked us. We were not prepared because we believed in Shanti, in peace. But then we actually found that we could not protect ourselves so well. Not that we could not face them but it was not so successful. So when next time in 1965, 
there was Indo-Pak conflict, we were better prepared. So actually speaking, China helped us. They cautioned us, they warned us to remain always well protected. So vaccination is something like that. When we take vaccination, which is introduction of diluted germs into our body, our body immediately responds by preparing antibodies. These antibodies cut the disease germs into small pieces, they kill them and also they learn what to do in future or in other words, they develop resistance against these pathogens. Another term, what is pathogen? The disease causing germ. So they learn, you know, whenever we undergo an experience, our brain registers that experience. Like if you don't do your homework, you get scolding from your teachers. So it gets registered. Next time you are more careful. So our body also learns to deal with these pathogens and that's how their resistance improves. So there are two ways in which we get medicinal help from microbes. One was antibiotics and other is vaccination. Antibiotics help in curing if we get disease and vaccination is even better. It prevents diseases. So there is vaccination not only for human beings but even for cattle and even for poultry. And antibiotics are also mixed in their feed so that if they have infection it can be removed. So we will study more about infection later.